Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Kyungi Province this week. On October 28th, Kyungi Province opened a job fair for individuals with disabilities who are experiencing difficulties finding jobs, especially during the COVID-19 pandemic. Running for 10 days in a contactless online format, this year's event offers a range of one-stop guidance services that include resume writing, video interviews, and work experience programs, as well as services for recruiting enterprises. Those wishing to participate can receive further information via the related website www.gbw.or.kr or by calling 070-4880-2672. With the use of delivery services having increased considerably during the COVID-19 pandemic, Kyungi Province has developed a public delivery app known as Delivery Express with the aim of alleviating the burdens of affiliated businesses in terms of service and advertising fees. The initial launch of this app is slated for early November in the cities of Hwasong, Osan, and Paju. Compared with private delivery service apps, this public delivery app can help businesses with monthly sales of 25 million Korean won save up to 2.9 million Korean won. Such savings are realized through the absorption of advertising costs by the provincial and local governments as well as the levying of a significantly lower service fee of 2%. Kyungi Province's public delivery app, which offers free advertising and low service fees, has garnered significant interest from small businesses and attracted a large number of applications, exceeding the original target by 20% even before the launch of the app. Following its initial launch in three provincial regions, which is slated for early November, the province will expand service coverage to 16 regions by next year before undertaking province-wide expansion. Developed with the aim of promoting fairness in commercial markets, this public delivery app will depend on consumer participation for its success in realizing the values it pursues. Last year, Kyungi Province established the Kyungi Russia Tech Plaza with the aim of fostering technical collaboration between Korea and Russia. This year, in celebration of the 30th anniversary of the establishment of Korean-Russian diplomatic relations, the two sides affirmed their collaborative intent. Gazprom of Russia, the world's largest natural gas producer, and ExoAtlet Global signed an investment MOU for 5 million US dollars at an event organized by Kyungi Province. According to this MOU, Exel Atlet Global will relocate its headquarters from Luxembourg to the Kyungi Russia Tech Plaza. Four additional agreements were also signed for the joint development of technologies, including 3D inspection equipment for automotive parts and high temperature heaters for semiconductors. On October 22nd, a public forum on app based delivery worker policies was jointly hosted by the Kyungi Provincial Assembly Economy and Labour Committee and the Kyungi Province Labour Bureau. Joined by Provincial Assembly members, administration officials, regional delivery service operators, and Korea Workers' Compensation and Welfare Service representatives, as well as app-based delivery workers, this forum was organized with the objectives of reviewing the difficulties faced by these workers and sharing ideas to improve their working conditions. During an online public auction held by Kyungi Province for three days from October 19th to sell luxury items seized from tax delinquents, a total of 436 out of 500 listed items found new owners. The first online event of its kind in Korea, this auction saw over 8,000 participants, more than five times last year's number. It also saw over 18,000 bids nine times more than last year, indicating significant public interest in this event. On October 23rd, the Kyungi Provincial and Regional Government Policy Cooperation Committee meeting for the second half of 2020 convened at the Kyungi Center for Creative Economy and Innovation. This meeting, which was geared to promote mutual respect and cooperative governance between the provincial and local governments, 
was joined by Kyungi Province Governor Lee Jae Myung and Kyungi City and County Mayor Association Chairperson An Byung Yong, as well as local government heads. Discussions focused primarily on how the provincial and local governments can cooperate in the implementation of local currency projects and Kyungi's public delivery app services. During the meeting, Governor Lee highlighted the economic benefits of local currency and his determination to pursue the expansion of local currency projects. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.